Hey guys, welcome to HPC Education and today we'll be looking at the parallel for loop construct. Before we begin with the parallel for loop, let's quickly go through the basic for loop. The for loop is basically a repetition control structure that executes some block of code a number of times. Init expression is executed first and only once. This step allows you to declare and initialize any loop control variables. It would be something like int i is equal to zero. Next, the condition is evaluated. If it is true, the body of the loop is executed. If it is false, the body of the loop does not execute and the flow of control jumps to the next statement, just after the for loop. After the block of code executes once, the increment expression statement is run. This either increments or decrements the loop control variable. The loop basically runs continuously till the condition fails and then exits the loop. Now let's look at a trivial example of the serial for loop. Here's a simple for loop that aims to find the sum of the first 100 natural numbers. In this loop, we initiate i as 1 and sum as 0. Now we run the loop till 100, adding the value of i to the sum variable and incrementing i at every iteration. When i crosses 100, the condition fails and the loop is exited and we print the sum. The answer is 5050. This can be verified using the formula n into n plus 1 by 2. Okay, so that's simple. Now we want to use multiple threads to make this loop faster. This is where the parallel for construct comes into play. By just adding a few statements, you can make your for loop divide its computation over multiple threads to speed things up drastically. Although, this is just a trivial example and we aren't really making any difference. In fact, we are actually taking more time due to a concept called false sharing, but I'll get to that later. So coming to our modified code, to use any OpenMP constructs, we need to first include the necessary header files, which is done by including omp.h. In our declaration of variables, you must have noticed a new array thread sum of size 4. This array will be storing some intermediate values. You will understand what that means pretty soon. Our next statement, OMP set num threads, sets the number of threads used by the compiler to 4. We can skip this line to let the compiler choose for us. Pragma OMP parallel is a compiler directive which basically marks the beginning of the parallel portion of our code which has to be enclosed in a pair of curly braces. Everything inside these braces will be executed in parallel. You can picture the serial program splitting into four blocks running in parallel from this point. Each parallel block is running on its own thread. First, we use mp get thread num to get and store the thread ID into a variable called ID. Now we initialize the position of thread sum array indexed by the thread id as 0. I think you must have an idea of what we're trying to do here. Basically what we're trying to do is split the basic for loop which runs 100 times to add 100 numbers into 4 basic loops that run 25 times each to add 25 numbers. Each of these loops save their respective sums into the thread sum array. Now we exit the parallel region of our code and just like that, everything becomes serial again. Here we run another simple for loop four times, adding the four sums calculated by the four threads and we print this sum. And just like that, with few more lines of code, we have reduced a for loop to one fourth of its time taken. Now try the simple code by yourself and don't forget to link OpenMP library using the F OpenMP during compilation on GCC. For other compilers, please refer the documentation. So 
So why is this parallel loop slower than the serial for loop? Two words, false sharing. This concept is out of the scope of this video, but I'll still try explaining it in simple terms. This has something to do with our thread sum array. Processors usually have a cache between the high speed registers of the CPU and the slow memory. When we access memory, a slice of memory is copied onto the cache called cache line. This is what happens to our thread sum array as well. The compiler uses this copy stored in the cache. This offers speed, but updates must never clash. A parallel loop updates individual elements in the same cache line from different threads. These simultaneous updates are logically independent of each other, but they still mark the entire cache line as invalid because concurrency is checked for the cache line as a whole and not for individual elements. This causes the thread to fetch a more recent copy of the thread sum array every time. This creates a lot of overhead and makes the program slow and inefficient. This problem is very common and can be overcome by using special constructs. Here's a cool exercise for you all. Try calculating the value of pi using integration. I've written the serial code for you. Try parallelizing it by adding as few statements as possible. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing and see you again in the next video.